A burial or funeral rite in Ghana is not merely to mourn the dead and send them off in the most befitting ways. They are sometimes almost like a show off among different tribes. People travel from far and near, put on their best funeral attire to empathize with the bereaved and often to support them financially. In some cases, if the deceased is wealthy or influential, the family goes in for the most expensive casket and complement it with other funeral services for a lavish burial. Due to the existence of COVID-19, all these gatherings were suspended first in March 2020. The decision by government was to stop the transmission of the virus to many people. In the President's 23rd address on Ghana's COVID-19 situation, he announced that only private burials with just 25 people can hold. This means that families seeking to bury their dead would have to either opt for the private burials or wait until the restriction is lifted or reviewed. But for the families who can't wait, they are going in for the private burials. During our visit to the Gilman and Abbey funeral service at Odoko, it emerged that the demand for private burials had seen an increase. It has increased to uh, <laughs> a margin that is, is, is more than we, we used to. Even before uh, before the first lockdown that came and then the first restriction of 25 that came uh, within yesterday and today the calls and uh, inquiries we have received is, is greater than that of that, that time so it has increased yes almost and as it stands now not 100 percent yeah uh, I would say about 80 yeah, 70 80 yeah as it stands now um, we have we have two funerals booked for tomorrow and then Friday and we have about two of them that have not yet been confirmed even though they have given us their information. However, the managing director of the facility says there's been a decline in the demand for other funeral services like the pallbearers. He explains why. It's definitely going to affect other services because uh, it is just going to be an indoor service from here straight to the cemetery to bury. No need for uh, an expensive casket, no need for uh, a display where we, you, they will need the poor burial service, no need for, I mean, many of the services that, that accompanies during the, uh, the, the, um, the, I mean, the funeral, you know. Um, so this is also going to affect the other services. And when you look at a large showroom, casket showroom down there, they are imported casket. Uh, many people, especially those who have not yet bought the casket, will argue that, I mean, the funeral is just going to be an indoor straight to the cemetery. Who is going to see the casket? And that instead of buying that one, they might resort to something else. The restriction by government does not allow for large funeral ceremonies as they breach the social distancing protocol. Some event centre owners say the directive has taken a toll on their business. Page Event Center is one of the most patronized event centers in Accra. As a result of the directive, some of his clients are calling for a refund while some want their funerals postponed. In as much that is, is, is a big blow, majority of them are willing to change their dates. As I said, uh, it's a business we are running. So we make sure we, we, we talk to our clients, uh, come to a, a good grounds, common consensus. But I think majority of them want to change their dates to uh, further dates, which we don't even know when uh, this ban is going to, to be lifted. But the majority of them want to change their dates. He wants government to revise the restriction to save his business. So per the president's directive, only 25 people are required for a private burial. And this is to curb the spread of COVID-19. And in this light, uh, stakeholders in this particular sector have indicated that more people are now opting for private burials. Reporting for City News, my name is Kweku Edriyama Anzan.